seems to forget how time works. Freedom felt like time that, that always ended was always wasted. Worn out, like stories I keep repeating but cannot move past. I was no longer surprised. It felt like things were waiting to happen, and they did, but not in a way that I could fully understand right now. I convinced myself that I was ready, then avoided things with delicate self-awareness. Sometimes I can sum up my thoughts into something clever, something beautiful, something nice to end with. I like to think that I did what was right, that my intuition led me to this place. I've seen others leave this earth in the hands of heat. I've seen the news, yet I feel invincible. Loving life is sand running through your fingers. Rough, but soft enough to wrap handfuls up. And when you try to close the gaps between you two, the only thing there is a memory of how warm it was. The knit and grit of it trapped beneath your nails and stuck on the back of your legs. Only the annoying parts of going to the beach are the ones you remember. We think about how we lived in the material, man-made, motorized cities. My thoughts are a cacophony of words bleeding into each other. Multiple tragedies woven into one singular feeling or lack thereof. And what takes life can also give. So powerful, powerless. There is read to me a fortune that I too can float on the sky. She feels free. When she jumps into the clouds and brushes her scalp on Jupiter's rings, she always comes crashing down, makes a crater in her room. A cat responding to a dove. Coiling of limbs, a low rumble. A museum of shimmer. I'm trying my best to be a good dry spring, a worthy reservoir. All I know is spring. Of course, I say. Don't worry, I'll help you. I believe in utopia because I've seen it. It's the part of the sky trapped in the bubbles. It's lonelier than we all imagined. Under my feet, the sidewalk rolls, like all the treadmills I've underestimated. It felt like forcing the wrong sides of magnets. I ask what we make together. What have I ever made with someone like me? my intuition as much as I should. I guess when I think of freedom, I think of being happy. Sometimes you lose it and I lost too much. Now I'm scrambling. And suddenly everything feels very old and my spring jacket smells fresh and raw and I realize I'm just another thing trying to grieve itself. I reread the notes on my phone and decided for myself I was wrong. And my dreams are predictions. This will be proof, I said. Two pages and only two pages of proof. I haven't touched my dream journal since. surroundings pick their own colors. No matter how deeply I set my intentions, things become muddled and different. It leaves me to work with what I have. The freedom might lie more in the secret for me. The few things I have my own. The very, very few things. Yes, I take things away from myself. But what of the rocket? The brushing of hands. What of what I thought before? Where is all this coming from? Fire without 
hot smoke is a pipe dream, piped in through air conditioning vents. Adaptants needed over preferred. Grief is the weight of a boulder on your shoulders. Dreams are like the stories our brain is teaching us how to tell. When do we learn to tell them? To mend and rewrite the ones inscribed onto us. Between contentment and routine, I found it. There is me before time felt linear. I'm waving back.